Hello, friends and family of YouTube. Man, I've got some great information for you today on how to get more of your money's worth out of your lithium LiPo 4 batteries that you've been using in your campers or whatever you've been using them on. I'm going to show you how to get a little more of your money's worth out of them. Let's face it, these things can range anywhere from $250 all the way up to $800 if you fell for the trick of buying those uh, Battleborn batteries for $800. Oh, Lordy mercy, you definitely need to get your money's worth out of them. So today I'm going to show you how to get more of your money's worth out of those batteries and the solar. And uh, this is going to work for year round. This is not just for camping season only. This is going to be for year round got plenty of tricks so if you don't really care for my first trick that i share with you you might like the third fourth or fifth so stick around to the end all right now first tip i want to share with you is uh showing you what i've done here okay this uh ocmo battery this is my lithium uh lo let's see it's a life po 4 is how they call it life po 4 battery so anyway i have taken my lithium battery out of my camper and I put an older, uh, this is just a Walmart battery, just a standard old lead acid battery. And uh, the reason I want to keep this in here is I still have the solar hooked up. And so, of course, the solar is able to keep this battery here charged up. But at the same time, if I need to go in my camper, I can uh, turn on the lights or whatever I need to do in there during the off season. So uh, that way I'm not leaving this LifePo 4 battery still connected. The reason you don't want to leave these LiPo 4 batteries out here during the winter time is it's really not doing any justice to the battery. It's actually, uh, it extends the life if you can keep them warm, so I'm going to keep it in the house. So that's tip number one. Now I've got a, I got an even better tip for you coming up. All right, well you can see that I live in a forest and out here I do, I do a lot of different things that I enjoy doing that are kind of different from other people. And here's one tip I want to talk about. Let's say that I wanted to put, it's Christmas time, if I wanted to put some Christmas lights way out there, or one of those uh, big Santa Claus blow up dolls or whatever, any kind of thing that I would need electricity way out there. I could do this way out in front of my house, which would be the same problem as sticking something way out there in the woods. So I would need to run a lot of extension cords. And by the time I got there, uh, I may end up using all the extension cords I had. So here's what I'm going to show you. So you can take your battery. You can go to Harbor Freight or Amazon or wherever you want to. And you can get one of these 450 watt inverters. And this thing right here, man, I can... I can plug a lot of stuff into this and just hook it right onto the battery. That cost me about $40. And I can put it out there in the woods and I can cover it up with a plastic tote just like that. And now I don't have to worry about it getting wet or uh, rained on or anything like that. And uh, that'll help protect it. And usually Christmas lights do not take up a lot of uh, a lot of power, so you could run Christmas lights for quite a long time on a, on a lithium battery like this. So uh, the other good of it is, is man, you can you can move that thing anywhere you want to, so you, you're not limited by just where you can get an extension cord to. Okay, you're gonna have to forgive me for the fact that I've already removed this battery for the season and I've put in my lead acid battery. So anyway, you'll still be able to understand. So just like I showed you a moment ago that you can take one of these small power inverters that, uh, that I showed you here, that like I said, it's about 40, 40, 50 bucks. This is 750 watt, I think I told you it's 450 watt, really doesn't matter. So anyway, I can hook an extension cord to this. So it's leaving the camper running an extension cord down my property and I can run electricity now off of that battery to my greenhouse. So all summer long, I have a fan that I can run off of my camper and off of that solar that I have in there. So the solar's keeping my, my battery charged up and that Ocmo battery that I use 
can keep my fan going and at night if I come out here I can turn on the light and be able to work at night when it's not so hot in the greenhouse. And to be honest with you, that is my favorite tip. But many of you may like this next tip that I got for you because this one will help you out in a lot of different situations. All right, so let's assume that you just had a power outage in your home. You may be out of electricity for a day, two days, you don't know. So here's what you do. You just take your battery, take that power inverter, like I said earlier, take that in the house. You can run a small deep freezer. I've done it plenty of times. I've run a small deep freezer on that for quite a while. Now, it will be a challenge to get a refrigerator to run on just one battery. So it wouldn't hurt to have a couple of these to be able to, to be able to go further. All right, so what I'm telling you is, is don't just leave these out on your camper and never use it. Let's use these things for more than just one use. A lot of people only camp for maybe two, three weekends an entire year. But what I'm trying to tell you today is there's many different uses for these batteries don't just use them for a couple of times a year, man. Use them for several times. Different things. You can you take this in your boat. See right here, you got a camper, you got a boat. And look there, they even got a greenhouse. I didn't even realize that till just now. <laughs> so uh, anyway, plenty of uses for these things. All right, well, this tip is going to save you the most money and make you the most money off of your lithium. So... If you have solar in your home, this is definitely going to save you a lot of money. If you don't have solar in your home, this might make you want to think about getting it. Okay, well, hopefully you can see that I have four panels up on top of my home. I have, uh, I think it is right at 1,300 watts of solar. All right, those are some old panels, so by today's standards, they're probably equal to about what you get out of 600 watts. So I also have on my camper out here, I've got 200 watts. So here's the point I wanna make. Why would you wanna keep batteries in here, in your camper year around? You can take those batteries out of here and take them into your home. That way you don't have to buy a whole bunch of batteries for your home. And if you're gone camping, you probably don't need a bunch of batteries in your home because you're not home to be using them. If you're not camping, you don't need a bunch of batteries in your camper. So basically, wherever you're going to be staying, if you're going to be staying in your camper, keep your batteries in your camper. If it's seasonal for you to be in your home, take the batteries from your camper, put them in your house. So as I said earlier, man, these things are not cheap, but they're getting cheaper. <laughs> they are getting they are getting a lot more affordable. So I think that uh, Ocmo battery that I use is somewhere around $250, something like that. So uh, you can go on their website and check it out. I'm sure they've got everything priced on there. So um, yeah, why would you... Why would you not try to get the most out of your batteries as you possibly can, especially these people that have bought Battleborn batteries? Oh my goodness, please don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> I, I don't doubt that they're a good battery, but the fact that you could buy three batteries for the price of one, there's no way you're going to get a trade-off worth it in the long run. So, um, be wise about it and uh <laughs> hey i'm sure y'all got some great uh tips and tricks for me y'all leave some comments down below y'all let me know some of the ways that you kind of get more of your money's worth out of using your lipo 4 batteries lithium whatever you want to call them so uh let me know down below appreciate y'all spending some time with me today i hope y'all have a blessed day see y'all soon bye-bye